I'm Erin Kennedy with your headlines here on CBS2. First, let's get a look at your weather, though, with meteorologist Megan Glaros. Thanks, Len, Erin. We do have a little bit of scattered flurry activity, a little bit of light drizzle as well. This is going to be a factor for us, not including any precipitation that will accumulate, but just that will be out there on the roadways for us. Temperatures right now in the mid-30s. We're looking for a high temperature today, up around 40, 35 degrees on Tuesday, and then we hit almost 60 degrees by the weekend. Megan, thank you. Breaking news this morning. A woman is killed in a shooting involving a police officer on the Jane Adams toll way. Elgin police say the whole thing started as a traffic stop, but the driver took off. That eventually escalated to a small fire inside an SUV in a confrontation on the Jane Adams near the Route 25 exit. Police say the woman who was the driver also had a knife. She was taken to a hospital where she was pronounced dead. Happening today, a new push to get Governor Bruce Rauner's signature on the gun dealer licensing bill in Springfield. Mayor Rahm Emanuel, Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson, and the Illinois Gun Violence Prevention Coalition will hold a news conference today. The State House and Senate passed the bill February 28th. Among other provisions, it would require Illinois gun dealers to obtain a state license. At a ribbon-cutting ceremony last week, Mayor Emanuel gave Rauner a blue folder containing a letter asking the governor to sign the bill. Spring break is over for the Ramblers, but the party is just beginning. Students are returning to a buzzing campus as Loyola, who just learned who and when they'll play in the NCAA tournament. The Genteel Center erupted as the Ramblers learned they'll play Miami on Thursday, which is the day the tournament starts. You can catch the first game right here on CBS2 at 11 a.m. It's Oklahoma versus Rhode Island. For all your latest news and weather all day, don't forget to stick with CBS2 and our website, cbschicago.com. Have a great Monday, everybody.